How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you never before experienced by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies Show. Now, here is your host of Big Fat Lies, success sorceress, and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Oh my goodness, you guys. Happy Monday. Happy fun day. This is the Big Fat Lies Show. So if this is the first time that you have tuned in and you're wondering, why would you call a show Big Fat Lies? I'm not interested in Big Fat Lies. Well, guess what? Guess what? My friends, my revolutionary leader friends, I would say that there are dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of lies that are installed on your subconscious, unconscious operating system that are stopping you from being so happy, so healthy, so wealthy, so switched on, and so loved. So if you're not feeling happy, healthy, wealthy, or loved, there are lies, lies preventing you from having that, preventing you from achieving that. And one of the lies is that you are the person who is solely responsible for all of that. And, you know, especially today, we're talking about the manifester. We're talking to the manifester energy type today. So if in your human design, you are a manifesting energy, manifester energy type, So very specifically, the manifester energy type, not a manifesting generator, manifester energy type. So when you start to look into that manifester energy type, it's like, oh, wow, I'm here to initiate. I'm here to like create things. I'm here to just tell people what they should be doing. And then you kind of wonder to yourself, like, why isn't this working? Why isn't me just being the boss of everything working? (laughs) Well, Yes. And then also there are a bunch of different things that you need to be doing as a manifester to have this energy work correctly for you. So we're going to today we're going to talk about cultivating practices for thriving as a manifester. We're going to talk about nurturing self-care tailored to your needs. You've got to take care of yourself. Otherwise, good luck manifesting. Good luck uh, establishing boundaries, good boundaries to prevent overwhelm. And then also what that looks like with the people around you, very, very specific to manifestors. And by the end of this class, you're going to have some new tools and knowledge to navigate burnout as a manifester and to allow you to step into that peace, peace, peace that you're here to have and to receive on planet Earth. How freaking cool is that? So wherever you're listening, if you're listening on the replay, I want to see hashtag replay. And if you're listening out there live in uh, live land at three o'clock on Monday, then I'm going to invite you to jump into the inspiredchoicesnetwork.com chat room uh, because you can engage with me live in the chat room. We've got some people logged in today and that's going to be super fun to be able to interact with them and provide them with some customized support and strategies for this manifester energy type. Or if you have a manifester child like I do, uh, you know, to have a very good relationship with them or you have a loved one who's a manifester and you want to have a really great relationship with them and then also take advantage and you know capitalize on that manifester energy in your life instead of resisting them instead of being like wow they're so shifty like what are they going to do next (laughs) what are they going to do next is a super great question so What do we know about the manifester energy type? So we're going to go into a little bit of review. If you are a manifester, you might know this about yourself. You have a closed and repelling aura. So your aura says, stay the hell away from me. (laughs) 
<laughs> don't get in my way. You know, your aura is like, don't get in my way with the capital F and a capital O. And so thinking about that for yourself, you may have resisted, you may have resisted the way that people engage with this repelling aura. And it's so interesting, the repelling aura um, as a mom of someone with this manifestor energy, the repelling aura is very attractive. It's like, stay the hell out of my way. Don't bug me. Don't get in my process. And what it does do is it kind of like pricks people's ears up. They're like, this is an interesting aura. This is someone to pay attention to. And so that's how manifestors can start to know and start to befriend this repelling and closed aura of theirs. And so what happens as a parent of a manifestor is you kind of, or this is my point of view, what I've noticed for myself is you kind of like, what's that kid up to now? What's that kid doing? What's he up to? And so I find, you know, even though I know my son is a beautiful hearted person and, uh, you know, that he's, he's just a great person. I am suspicious of my own child because my child has this sort of suspicious aura. His aura makes me really curious about what he's doing next. And so you, as a manifestor energy, you can take advantage that your aura does make people's ears prick up and, and make people wonder what it is that you're doing next. And so this becomes part of your marketing, part of your branding is being aware. This is how you are able to attract people into your process is by holding them energetically at arm's length. And so you are not, and you never will be sort of a Jenny from the block, a Sarah from the block, a Christine from the block. That's not going to be you. You are an upper echelon type of practitioner, whatever it is that you do. Say you're a naturopath, say you're an engineer, say you're a coach or a consultant. Uh, you are in the upper echelon. You are probably not meant for the general public. And so I would be able to see that in your chart if you are meant for the general public uh, quite quickly. And I would also be able to see it in your chart, like specifically what type of courses and offerings and sessions and healings or like whatever it is that you products, services, whatever it is that you're here to be and do. It sits in your human design chart and it also sits in your aura. Like I can read it, I can see it. And the invitation for you to step into your greatness is really obvious to me. So who am I and like, how dare I talk about this? <laughs> so if you're interested in knowing more about me, you can actually watch hours and hours and hours and hours of my shows on YouTube. So if you go to YouTube and type in Jennifer Kramer Lewis and you go to my channel, you can see all sorts of classes that I've done over the years, all sorts of invitations that I've done over the years. And you can also see my progression as a human being as I step out of the conditioning field and more into who I came here to be and what I came here to do. And, you know, there's videos of me and I'm so nervous and I'm never taking them down because people are like, wow, Jennifer, you're so polished. I, I'm a little threatened by the fact that you're so polished on camera. And I wasn't always so polished on camera. But what I would say is I'm a manifesting generator. And so I have a direct connection to my throat, just like a manifester. And so if manifestors aren't communicating, if they're not using their throat box and talking to their ideal clients or talking to people about what it is that they see that the world needs or, you know, their specific solution, their special sauce, then they're never going to manifest. And I would say part one is that repelling aura. We definitely would talk about that. And then part two is the the willingness to be seen, the willingness to be heard. And, you know, that's what leads to burnout for 
manifestors. And we're going to talk about that very specifically in this show. If you don't do what it is that you're here to do, so as a manifester, if you're not using your voice box, if you're not communicating your unique special sauce or flavor, then it gets so tiring, you know, because you're not plugging into your ideal people. Manifestors, again, are not generators. So generators have that sacral energy. They have the connection to the earth. They are the worker bees. They're here to work and be and have so much fun doing that. Well, manifestors, you're here to initiate and inform and let people know, hey, this is what we're doing next. But we is the royal we with manifestors. We is the royal we. It's like, okay, my legions, you know, <laughs> my kingdom and my subjects, this is what we're going to do next. And so the more manifestors on the planet that are collecting who their soul fractal is, collecting who the people are that are uniquely poised to listen to the message of a manifester and have that be a conscious evolution, the better. Think about that, you guys. Like, there's so much garbage. There's so many things that are distracting people away from having fulfilling lives, having peaceful lives, having loving lives, having wealthy lives, having healthy lives, having happy lives, it's like so much of it. And so what if, just what if, try this on for size, your mission is to get people to start paying attention to their own happiness. Maybe your mission is to start to get people to pay attention to their own healthiness. Maybe like me, your mission is to start getting people to pay attention to their own wealthiness and all of the different sources of wealth that are available to them. And, you know, when they start to relax and have enough money, like way more than enough money, then what do you end up doing with it? It's so interesting. I was told, tell, telling a girlfriend of mine, um, the famous cellist, Yo-Yo Ma, there was an interview with his father and he said it takes three generations of wealth to create a virtuoso. So a virtuoso is somebody who's so talented with whatever it is, say cellos, that they transcend their training. They just know how to play. They know how to dance. They know how to paint with music, for example, if they are a cellist. And so three generations of wealth and nobody cares about the visa bill anymore. It's just like, okay, it's going to pay itself. And I think that that's so important, especially if you're a manifester, like, what do you really want to manifest? you know, getting excited about manifesting your next mortgage payment, you could do that if you want to. And, you know, I want to give you permission that you don't have to get excited about manifesting your next mortgage payment. It's going to get manifested. So when you start to manifest or get excited or, or um, really pour your talents, pour your capacities, pour your abilities into giant solutions, for humanity. Like maybe you come up with a, you know, a Netflix, maybe you come up with a PayPal, maybe you come up with, um, you know, whatever the next greatest thing is. I saw these like virtual reality headsets, which I mean, gosh, you know, there's no, like, I just roll my eyes when I think about virtual, virtual reality. What would it be like if we created our day-to-day -day reality as so gorgeous that no virtual reality could ever transcend it? What would that be like? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. Please join us in the chat room on Inspired Choices Network. We're going to go off of Facebook now, and we're going to just be in the chat room and having so much fun talking to manifestors about creating an amazing reality where virtual reality can't even go there. 
So join me after the break. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and this is Big Fat Lies. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jenniferkramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness, you guys, uh, you guys. So there's a manifester in the chat and she's like, I'm manifesting $20,000 for me with a big smiley face. And I was like, get it. <laughs> and then I was like, per day, like, what would that be like for you manifestors? If you just decided that $20,000 a day was how you roll and I mean, maybe that's Monday to Friday, but you need to let people buy your stuff 24 seven. So if there's no ability for people to buy your stuff 24 seven, then what are you missing out on? I'm saying it. Uh, and some people are uniquely poised and positioned to have this online presence and, you know, come up with practical solutions for people that they can buy every day, all day. And then some people like me are more poised to have like one-on-one -on -one and, you know, small groups, but maybe not necessarily that online, you know, buy my course for $9.97 all day, every day, but maybe we'll see. And I would love, I would love for you to start asking yourself questions. Like if I came up with a simple practical solution or a course, or a, a philosophy that people could buy into. And then, you know, they start spending time with me. They start, I don't know, drinking the Kool-Aid with me. Like, what's your Kool-Aid? And is your Kool-Aid something that is global? And that's my question for manifestors, because in many cases, they come up with something that's so helpful and because they have that manifestor aura, they have that sort of suspicious way about them that, again, like we were talking about earlier, you know, you're being you and having that repelling stay out of my business aura, it's very unique. Like my aura, my manifesting generator aura is open and enveloping. So when I walk into a room, I can feel people take a big breath and they're like, oh, Jennifer's here. This is going to be fun. <laughs> so in most cases, like, yeah, I'm fun and I'm dedicated to fun. And that's what my special sauce is. Like, no matter what we're doing, no matter how hard it is, we're going to laugh and we're going to find what's fun about it. And we're going to transcend using fun, using the frequency of delight. 
And, you know, so if you study gene keys, my personality son is 46 and that's the energy. The gift is delight. So for me, I need to do stuff that delights me. And if it doesn't delight me, I have no business doing it. No business doing it. So wherever you are listening, it would be helpful to me to know what your personality sun is. So you can go anywhere, download your human design chart, just like use any web browser and type in free human design chart, download your chart and let me know what that number is on the black side at the top. And that's really, really helpful to me uh, to, you could even ask me a question like, Hey, here's my personality, son. What advice do you have for me or whatever? Um, Yeah. Check me out on Instagram and DM me on Instagram. And I'd, I'd be loving, it would be fun for me to send you a resource about that. So we've got 16.5. So 16 is the enthusiast. It's the enthusiast. And so it's like, what are you jacked about right now, my dear friend? And what do you want to call people's attention to? Because if you're enthused about something, what I would really suspect about you is that when you're excited about stuff, all your friends pile on, all the people. You know, just for example, I have 16 um, in my chart as well. And years ago, I was teaching myself how to run. Um, I decided I wanted to do like 10K run. And then after that, I was done. I decided that I wanted to do a half marathon. And while I was doing that, everyone around me, I wasn't like, yeah, you should run. It was just everyone around me was like, wanting to run because I was wanting to run. So that enthusiast energy with a manifester or a type, well, one, you got to be careful about what you're enthusiastic about. Like if you decided that you wanted to be enthusiastic about heroin, (laughs) then everybody'd be like, wow, (laughs) give me some of that heroin. But also thinking about yourself as a manifester, Like, what is it that you are enthusiastic about? Because sometimes you can be galloping off in all directions and not super clear. Like, there can be some confusion about what energies that are available and what you want to be enthusiastic about and what you can be enthusiastic about over a decently long period of time. You know, because business does take momentum. And so we can't be jumping like I'm enthusiastic about this product or I'm enthusiastic about this product or I'm enthusiastic about this solution, you know, like 10 different solutions in a year, unless we decide that we're going to do an influencer profile. We could, like if we work together, we could do an influencer profile and then get people to, you know, buy into whatever it is that you're doing next, whatever you're excited about next. However, there is momentum that's required in business. You can't be hopping all over the place and have the type of momentum that you would like to have in business. You know, just for example, you are a naturopathic physician and then all of a sudden you're selling this, you know, supplements and then all of a sudden you're, you know, teaching massage and then all of a sudden you're teaching Reiki, you know, it's like, what is the overarching theme is a really great question. And so these are questions that we would go over in a discovery process. Right now, I have an assessment for rebranding your business. And so it's not for new, new, new businesses. This would be a business that's like three to five years old or over three years old. Uh, We could go through a brand, a rebranding process with me. Um, Just send me an email at Jennifer at Jennifer Kramer Lewis. If that sounds like something you want to know more about Um, that's complimentary. You can have that with me. I have how many, I think I have three left of those. And so once those are gone for this month, they will be gone. I don't know if I'm offering them next month because I just go as I go with my energy. And yeah, so what else do we want to talk about? Being burnt out. 
being burnt out as a manifester. So what is the core issue of being burnt out as a manifester? I would say, I would say resistance. So as a manifester, if you have looked into your strategy, your strategy is as a manifester is to inform. And so in many cases, manifestors have told people or informed people what they're going to do next. And it hasn't gone well for them. They've been like, wow, I told that person what I was going to do next. And then they took my idea and ran with it and made millions of dollars. So that's not cool. Red flag. I don't want to inform. (laughs) I don't want to inform anymore, Jennifer. This is what I hear. Or they tell people what they're going to do. And the person that they're telling gives them a bunch of feedback and tells them why they can't do it as though that person is saying, or as though you're asking for permission from the person that you're informing. And so that's never, ever the case. The person that you're informing is just supposed to be informed. They're not supposed to be like, well, here's the 25 reasons why you can't do that thing. Or here's the 25 reasons why I'm pissed off that you're thinking about doing that thing. And I would say, in many, many cases, these beautiful manifestor energies are with partners or lovers or significant others or family units that are used to trying to keep their thumb on top of this manifestor. And so that's one of my jobs is to get their thumb off you and also to teach you how to inform correctly to the correct people so that that energy can get out and be the energy of beneficial chaos. So what is beneficial chaos, you ask yourself? Well, here's the thing. Beneficial chaos is kind of like pollen. Like when trees burst their pollen all over the place, they don't do it in a way that's like clean and tidy and strategic. They just like burst their pollen all over the place. And so you see this in the world, you know, when people go viral with their music or they go viral with their solution, you know, sort of like, oh, they went on Dragon's Den and they informed them about this cool solution. Like the, um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but there's like these chopsticks that you can like use to eat like Doritos. I don't know if it's, it may have been a mass manifester that created those chopsticks. And, you know, so then they went viral. They were like all over the place. They were on Instagram, they were on TikTok, you know, they were just everywhere. And so when you inform correctly, it does give you the ability to go viral with your solution. However, However, strategically, there would be a really great way to make sure that you can, you know, rake up all of the cash and make sure that you get the the benefit of your solution instead of, you know, informing the wrong people and they take your, you know, your Cheeto chopsticks and, you know, use them for themselves and then you don't end up getting paid for your Cheeto chopsticks. So thinking about that for yourself, manifestors, I would say not informing correctly, not informing the right people, and then not actually having the right mentorship. And, um, you know, because when I work with manifestors, they're informing me. And then I'm like, "Hmm, okay, so here's a better way to inform me. So it's safe to inform me. I'm correcting the information process. So when they inform me, I'm like, okay, well, here's a better way to inform me. And, you know, let's energy test who's correct to inform about this thing that you're about to do. And, you know, what are the five things that you need to do in before you inform? What are the five things that you need to do while you're informing? What are the five things that you need to do after informing to make sure that the inform process is correct? You know, so you can see I'm always strategizing. I'm always thinking, okay, well, how do we do this better? How do we have this better? 
And so uh, my manifester in the audience says, this makes so much sense. I've been feeling a lot of rejection lately. Maybe I'm informing the wrong people. I would say in many cases, yeah, just because they love you doesn't mean that they're the correct people to inform. Just because they live with you doesn't mean they're the correct people to inform. So we're going to talk more about that after the break. This show is Big Fat Lies, and my name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright, shining beacons that you came here to be. Do you want to know what the biggest, fattest lie is in the whole world? Jennifer Kramer Lewis has discovered, after working with hundreds of conscious, heart-centered entrepreneurs, that they believe in the lie that if you work harder, smarter, and faster than everyone else, only then will you be rewarded with success. Jennifer audaciously stakes claim that what is pleasurable for you will always be your direct route to the big bucks. Jennifer knows working this hard is robbing you of your dream life. What would you say if she gave you the keys to the Ferrari called your correct energy? What would change if you had a burnout-proof business plan, a juicy switched-on energy field calibrated by correct business practices, as well as Jennifer's success sorcery, deep psychic awareness, and support? The investment for this process is one-sixth what Jennifer's VIP-level clients pay. Why? Jennifer believes that once you have this information, you become limitless. And that's exactly what this planet needs more of. Choose your limitless life and business at 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. That's 888.jenniferkramerlewis.com. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jenniferkramerlewis.com. How much fun. This conversation is too hot. I had to take a layer off. I'm getting excited about this manifestor energy type. Now, here's the thing. This is what I freaking love about manifestors. In most cases, these people have giant hearts. Giant. You know, of course, there's all this like rap about like, oh, well, you know, this person was a manifester and they were a horrible soulless person. And this person was a manifester and they were a horrible soulless person. Okay. Now, what if you took that manifester energy, that manifester influence, that manifester like, ooh, what's that person up to? And you used it to garner support, garner influence, inform people about something that this planet needs, like free energy, you know, where you don't need to plug your phone in, your phone's just hooked up to something that keeps it charged. Or maybe there's these new things that aren't batteries, they just harvest energy out of the air. Like, this is my favorite conversation to have with people. Like, okay, if I could create anything, if I could do anything, what would I do today? And, you know, like maybe there are ways of harvesting nutrients out of the air so that we don't actually need to take vitamins. Like maybe the nutrients could be harvested into a glass of water and then we could drink the glass of water and that would be your vitamins for the day. Now I'm sure the vitamin companies would be like, Oh God, don't do that. You know, billions and billions of our dollars of revenue will go away. Well, here's the thing. 
most times I'm talking to somebody that has a revolutionary point of view. So what they say is usually a bit too hot to handle. And I am ideal for that. I get jacked. My 16 enthusiast gets so turned on by a revolutionary approach, you know, an anarchistic approach to life. You know, we don't have to do the same old, same old. We don't have to work for the same company for 40 years, get our gold watch and, you know, then go golf. (laughs) A friend of mine says golf is what people do when they don't have sex anymore. (laughs) I'm thinking you are right about that. There are better things to do with four hours on a Sunday afternoon and they do not involve golf. They do not. And so thinking about that for yourself, like what is your revolutionary approach? What do you already know? And if you started to inform, you started to have conversations with a mentor, with someone who wants to protect your genius, to nurture your genius and to, you know, just celebrate your genius with you. Like in many cases, I would say people who are that brilliant, people who have that revolutionary approach aren't finding a whole lot of people who want to be informed about that approach. And so then what happens is you get burnt out. You're like, wow, I can't even talk. And so the resistance happens in your throat. You're like, wow, I can't even communicate this message to the right people. This is me pretending to be you. And so when you can't communicate your right message to the right people and, you know, move ahead with these revolutionary approaches of yours, you don't get to be the leader that you came here to be. And that is the fast track to burnout. If you can't be the leader, the revolutionary anarchistic leader that you came here to be, You know, you're busy doing all your research, you're busy like trying out your solutions and can't get anybody enrolled in your process. Then that is burnout, my friends. That is burnout. And that's so sad. Like that just makes me mad. You know, my inner redhead (laughs) gets fucking mad about that. So What else? Cultivating practices for thriving as a manifester. What else? Nurturing self-care tailored to your needs. Okay, so here's the cultivation is it makes me think of. um, What's that old book? Darn it. It's I can't my bookshelf is like over there and I can't see it. And then my other bookshelf is over there and I can't see it. But anyways, there's a book and it talks about masterminds and it's an ancient book. And so being around other people who have a revolutionary approach, other people who have anarchistic points of view, super, super important to you manifestors. And so starting to enroll people in your process and very, very important that you have a peppering of the energy types because you are not an energy type that is sustaining your own energy. You need a lot of alone time to work on your unique revolutionary approach on, you know, your leadership strategy And, you know, so if you don't have a manifestor or a manifesting generator to plug into, then you get burnt out quite quickly because you're not generating that energy for yourself because you're not a generator. And so, and then also say you've got a family that's full of projectors and manifestors, like the whole entire house doesn't have one freaking generator. (laughs) And you got to go out and find them. You got to create your own conscious community. And so, That may be, you know, just a tight little community that you get through a mentorship group, or it could be an even bigger community that you start to create yourself. But again, I want to remind you, manifestors, that you are not the worker bees, you are not the builders. So it's what communities can you join? 
what people can you inform that then those people start to go and create that community and then you can join it. You know, there's lots of different approaches there that are burnout proof. And so one question that you can ask yourself is, does this thing bring me closer to peace? Does this conversation bring me closer to peace? Does this activity bring me closer to peace? Does hanging around these people bring me closer to peace? And if it doesn't, then it's not like, you know, (laughs) it's so funny. Like the image that I get is like you putting all of your precious belongings in like a, a scarf and like tying it to the end of a pole and, you know, flinging that pole over your shoulder and like walking off. And, you know, in some cases, that's what manifestors do. They're like, peace out. Like even Ra, uh, Uruhu, um, the creator or the original download recipient of the human design system, he left his life in Montreal and he was living on Ibiza. And, you know, that's where he had his experience with what he calls the voice that brought him all of the codes, all of the the download for the human design system of which gene keys is an offshoot. Like there's a bunch of different teachings and um, creations that were initiated by Ra, you know, so he was the original recipient. And so it worked because his informing happened to the right people. And with the right people. And he also had the right configuration inside his body. And, you know, I don't know what kind of mentorship that he received, but maybe he was just so strong that he was able to move ahead. He wasn't like diverted by informing the wrong people. And I would say that over and over, manifestors are so, so angry, which is your not self theme, manifestors is anger. You're fucking mad. And so one, if you're a female, being angry is so um, not done. It's just not done. You're not allowed to be angry. You're not really allowed to be yourself as a woman anyways, but definitely not allowed to be angered. You know, you're not allowed to have that energy. And so when you do feel that energy, in many cases, what I see is that these manifestors spiral that anger back in on themselves. They spiral it back in on themselves. They're not allowed to like yell at their husband or yell at their kids or, you know, go do Krav Maga and like beat other people with sticks and like grapple and, you know, some of like productive chaotic energy, you know, that would be great. I would be like, yes, definitely do that. Learn how to do fencing, you know, like go stab other people a couple, three times a week. It's so good. And, you know, such a great, use of that super freaking powerful energy you know like my my manifestor son and I learned how to do some fencing and oh my god it was so good and you know I could feel like when we sparred you know when he went to stab me he like really went for it it was (laughs) it was so freaking good and you know I have no point of view like I I needed to have a little bit more um padding on you know I had like bruises from getting stabbed but it was I don't know. It was just so interesting. I have such a a unique and revolutionary approach to nurturing leadership within my own family. And then also within my practice, like everything is welcome. Rage is welcome. Anger is welcome. Like deep nuclear frustration is welcome. You know, it's like, if you look at Dr. David Hawkins, uh, he wrote a book called Power Versus Force, and there's something called the Hawkins Scale, and anger is a gateway frequency. Like, whatever happened before anger, whatever happened before rage is powerless. It's absolutely powerless. And what happens after rage is your power turns on. It turns on. And so, you know, it's like a little locomotive and, you know, we're trying to like throw sticks and, you know, a little bit of wood into the, you know, into the little barrel of the locomotive. 
And then the difference between what happened when they stopped fueling uh, steam with wood and they started throwing coal in there. Oh, yeah, baby. And then after that, it's like, well, what else can we put in there? What else can we put in there? And so if we don't use rage as the thing that allows you to initiate, there's so many other high frequency things that will allow you to initiate. So we're going to talk about high frequency initiation for manifestors to avoid burnout and to just sail right over that and get into what makes your solution the secret sauce solution that everybody can buy after the break. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and this is Big Fat Lies. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis, stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies, Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners like you from being the bright shining beacons that you came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Uh, welcome back, you guys. Oh, my goodness. So we are going to be talking this month more about burnout. And I would say as someone who has had multiple burnouts, and then also someone who is an emotional authority in the human design world, I really, really am a champion for you to be in your genius. I'm a champion for you to have revolutionary leadership and experience the revolutionary leadership that you're here to be and do, to be able to have your anarchistic solutions, your anarchistic points of view, because people need to hear from you. They need to hear from you. They need your specific frequency. And so if you are a manifester, your thing that you're here to be and do is to use your voice box to convey your special sauce, your anarchistic point of view, your revolutionary leadership. And not only is that hard, it's also super difficult if you're not informing correctly. And so, like I said earlier, there may be five things that you need to do before you inform, five things that you need to do while you're informing, five things that you need to do after you're informing. And so your charts always show me, well, my intuition, if you watch the show, you know that I am a master intuitive and my intuition will give me the information and I can share that with you. And we can start to grow that together. So that you have that for the rest of your life. You're like, okay, before I inform, here's the things I'm going to do. Okay, while I'm informing, here's the things that I'm going to do. And then while you're in, after you inform, here's the things that you're going to do. And so once you start to have that, 
then it's almost like the parting of the Red Sea. You know, like people just get the fuck out of your way. And that's supposed to be what happens as a manifestor. You have this closed and repelling aura. So if you are receiving the correct people to inform, then those people are like, yep, I've been waiting for this message. Thank you very much. Here's my MasterCard. Here's my visa. I want to sign up for your solution. I want to sign up for it. But if it's not working, then the informing process is not working. And that's what's causing your burnout. And then your unique decision-making process. So some of you are emotional manifestors. Some of you aren't. Some of you are splenic. Uh, But some of you, and some of you are ego, but some of you are emotional manifestors. And so if you are an emotional authority, then you have to wait until you are clear and calm. Clear and calm. And so how that shows up in your body, what part of your body that shows up in is going to be obvious to me in your charts. And, you know, so it may be something that you're like, okay, well, I want to work with you, Jennifer, on your limitless process. And I want to just work with you for a month and you get solutions, get my informing process wrapped up, you know, thinking about that, how many clients could come in if you were informing correctly how many arguments with your partner could you not be having if you were informing correctly how easy peasy could it be to be a parent to be a daughter to be a friend if you were informing correctly and how easy could it be you know as an emotional manifester if you were informing correctly and you were also using your strategy correctly. Now, I've been using these tools now for years. Uh, They came in for me to have a look at them in 2018. And so I started working with mentors, like really, really great mentors in 2018. And so now in 2023, I'm partway through what's called my deconditioning process And as an emotional being, what I ended up finding out was the more I waited, the more I waited, the more people gave me even more information about the decisions that I was thinking about making. So even as a manifester, you know, you can't just like barge in and inform. You, especially if you're an emotional manifester, there's got to be a process for you to inform correctly. Yeah. (laughs) Um, My participant here says, I feel like I don't inform my kids correctly. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be, you know, like, you know, my way or the highway, which of course children love said no one ever. (laughs) And, you know, there will be kids who, you know, you're my way or the highway type parenting or informing will work on and then later you'll find out that they were you know sneaking out at night and you know all of the things that you don't want kids to do uh you know I kind of want my kids to walk out the front door and and that's the type of parent that I was I would I would prefer my kids to be like yeah I'm going to a beach party might be home at three o'clock in the morning promise I won't drink and drive great that's what I want And so thinking about that for you manifestors, like, how is it that you can have a completely peaceful, profitable profession? Is that working for you right now? And what difference can you have? What difference can you invite by having correct mentorship, by working with a success sorceress who's been around the block a few times. I have so many things that I would love to offer to you. Please reach out. Thank you so much. Next week's show is called Thriving Beyond Boundaries, Burnout Prevention for Human Design Reflectors. So if you know a reflector, you love a reflector, you are a reflector, please invite them to join us for Monday's show. And thank you so much for showing up today. Super love you. 
Bye, guys. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with success sorceress and entrepreneurial spiritual mentor, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 3 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Mountain, 5 p.m. Central, and 6 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live your life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies Show.